And when Samantha Stoza took out the US Open last month, she broke a three-decade drought for women's tennis in Australia. It was also a performance which has her in contention for the Queensland Sportswoman of the Year Award. Of these young kids. It was one of the great sporting moments for Australia in 2011. And she's done it. Sam Stoza has won the US Open. In doing so, Sam Stoza also ended a lean run for Aussie women in Grand Slam events. It had been 31 years since Yvonne Goolagong won Wimbledon. Sam's feat, enough to earn her a nomination for the Queensland Sportswoman of the Year Award. Oh, I think it's you know, obviously a, a fantastic thing to be nominated for that. I guess it means that they've uh, recognised you uh, for, for, what I've, for what you've achieved in your sport. There was plenty of recognition all round. She captured the nation's heart and was honoured with a civic reception on the Gold Coast where she and world champion hurdler Sally Pearson received the key to the city. Now she's up against Pearson for the prestigious Queensland Award. I think Queensland's got tons of great um, athletes and, and women's athletes so if, um, if I ended up winning it uh, you know, ahead of any of those girls then uh, it'd definitely be quite an honour. She can also win the People's Choice Award but that's up to you. Simply go to the Women's Sport Queensland website and cast your vote for her, Sally or one of the other four finalists in Alicia Coots, Steph Gilmore, Elise Kelland-Knight or Natalie Medhurst. I know who I'm voting for but they're all worthy. Yeah, yeah, I, I think Sam's going to be hard to beat. She will take yeah. a power of beating. Thanks, Rob. Yeah, we'll see you later Rob. on.